Hi, I'm Jeff Lee with buildwithpropane.com, and this is the Tech and Trends video series. I'm here with Josh Larock, Water Park Facilities and Maintenance Manager at JPEAK, to tell us about the sophisticated heating system that keeps this water park running. Josh, tell us what the heating system has to accomplish here at the park. Well, it is responsible to maintain the water at 84 degrees and air temp at 86 degrees, no matter what the temperature is outside. And here in northern Vermont, on a ski resort, the outdoor air temperature can dip down to minus 50. We have 12 boilers in total downstairs, but that doesn't just do the water park. Uh, there's three of them for snow melt, um, melting snow off sidewalks, uh, keeping them safe for all of our patrons. And then we have five that pretty much dedicate themselves to the water park. And then there's two um, makeup add heat boilers for the heat pump loop, and then two domestic hot water boilers. So speaking of the snowmelt system, give me the technical details behind how that system works. There's a snowmelt uh, set slab sensor in each zone that senses for moisture and temperature. So if moisture is present and it's below 33 degrees, then the, that zone will be active and maintain a 45 degree slab temp to keep the snow from icing up and get it to melt. With a system of this size, why is it critical to have a high efficiency propane system compared with what the alternatives might be? Well, uh, the reason for efficiencies is cost. Like I said, 36 million BTUs. Each uh, gallon of propane can issue about 96,000 BTUs. So if you're taking that and you do the numbers, that's a lot of money and you, every bit of efficiency, even if it's uh, a half a percent, that can equate to thousands and thousands of dollars over a year. Uh, Josh, well, thanks so much for taking the time to tell us about the yeah, heating no system, problem. and we're looking forward to seeing you at the park. Yeah, bring your families, enjoy. It's thanks a lot. Great time. Sounds good.